expect uh, Christmas orders for your electric bike that you order today. Hopefully you'll get your bike soon enough and you'll be able to ride. Hopefully. Speed up just to turn right in front of me. Yep. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, consider joining membership. What's up everybody? Welcome back. Another episode here of uh, the Rad Rover. Ugh. It is a beautiful day, and that's also why I'm riding the bike, because it's a beautiful day. Take the shortcut here, because it's dry, and I think I only have a few days, or actually I think today, today is the last, like, dry day, maybe. I think there's a really good chance of rain for tomorrow and the rest of the week, and the week coming forward, so... This is probably the only good time for me to ride the uh, bike while it's still dry. There we go. All right, taking the shortcut. Take the shortcut. Oof. It is dry today it is it's still humid but it's still dry oh they cut that tree probably because it was dying looks like someone drove their truck out here you can see the tracks follow the tracks see if it uh, makes it any smoother nope not really. Ooh, bumpy. Still bumpy. Here's my tracks. Ugh, not any smoother, but... Okay, gotta wait for traffic here. Alright, traffic on both sides. Good. I'm good to go. So, if you don't know from the previous video, I will be going to uh, Dallas, another uh, vacation vlog, I guess. My wife has to go to uh, Dallas anyway, so that's why we're, uh, we're headed there. So since we got a brand new Hyundai Kona, because my car caught on fire, my Tucson. Well, it didn't catch on fire. It had a, a piston rod blew out of the engine block and all the oil spewing out of it caused the fire. So anyway, that's what happened. So with that being said, we got a new car. So we got a new car. And so, uh, you know, we, it's only a few more weeks before uh, school starts. School is starting early this year. Kids are bummed out about it. I'm happy. So we we're gonna go to Dallas, we're gonna go to Six Flags, and we're gonna go to Reunion Reunion Tower. They don't have a restaurant there, so I'm kinda of bummed out about that, but it, I think I believe it rotates. So but you know if you're going to travel and visit someplace, I do like going to towers. You get a bird's eye view of the landscape. Technically, you see everything. <laughs> Technically, I guess you, you're you seeing everything. But I wish they had a restaurant because I think that's a lot nicer. A lot more nicer to have a restaurant. But I don't, I don't think they're set up that way. It's part of the hotel. It's, it's part of the higher Regency Hotel. So, anyways, that's what we're going to do. I was thinking about going to JFK where they were assassinated for... Uh, 
the JFK assassination. What is, what is that, that? That library? They also have a JFK museum, but going to the actual assassination site of JFK, I think there's some historical, you know, educational value, and it happened in Dallas. So, uh, but we're not going to go there this time. You know, they're going to start school. We want to make it fun. Don't quite have the time, and they're closed. They're also closed, so not going to be able to go. Uh, we're leaving Saturday, going on to getting there, spending the night Sunday, and then leaving Monday. So that's the uh, plan. So today, I'll be going to the clubhouse. Yes, I guess start my routine again. Although it's gonna, it's, there's a really good chance it's gonna rain next week. So that's why I'm riding the bike today. Get my bike on. Got to do my electric bike riding. My little electric bike vlogs here. It is a little drier. It's still humid, but it's drier. I don't know if the Saharan dust, the dust that comes from Africa, is having an effect here. Uh, hopefully that'll be gone. I noticed that I'm coughing. I don't have the coronavirus, okay? I'm not sick. It's just in the mornings I'm coughing a little more. And I think that's due to the dust in the air. All right. Levees are high over here. The grass is high. They changed the sign over there. Anyways. So, I'm just gonna ride the bike. I don't know how long I'm gonna stop over at the clubhouse. I did bring my uh, nutritional shake. So I'll have that when I get to the clubhouse, use the bathroom, get a cold drink of water, hop on the bike and uh, head on back home. My wife is, she may, she may go out there. She may meet me out there, maybe not. She's starting to do some exercise. She's, I don't know, you know, women, when they feel insecure or feel fat or unhealthy, they start exercising. The key is actually to always be exercising, always be healthy. Always be exercising, you know, stay fit. Not only when you feel unfit or you feel fat, but just a little bit every day. If you make it a routine and a habit, it's like nothing, but anyway, she's gonna be driving to the fitness center and doing her exercises, whatever she does. So I might I might see her. I might not, I don't know. Those are dark clouds, but hopefully it's not going to rain. Hopefully I'm not going to get caught in the rain. So riding the bike. And after that, I'm going to probably like end up going and uh, cutting the grass. God, I got to cut the grass. But I think the summer is, summer's almost ending. I can tell the grass is starting to change. Uh, the leaves on some shrubs and, and trees are starting to fall and some of them are starting to change color already. So I know fall is literally right around the corner. corner. It's only basically another month before uh, fall sets in and we're going to start seeing a shift in, in weather patterns, shift in the climate. Yeah, some of these leaves are starting to turn color a little bit. If it's not turning from the season changing, it's turning from the dry conditions. I mean, it was, for almost a month, it was raining. And for the last two weeks, it's been super dry, like hot and dry. And, you know, the soil is starting to harden a, harden a, a lot. It's starting to get hard. It's not soft. So, uh, yeah. Amazing how things change in the blink of an eye. 
Man, those are dark clouds over there. I'm hoping, really hoping that it's not raining over there. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hopefully I won't get caught in the rain. I think the pools are open today. It is Friday. All right, you, you never know. I stopped for the car, you know, but you never know. I saw it coming, but like I said, you never know. Man, there's a little branch here. You never know what other people are thinking. So, you know, play it safe. As I get older and older, uh, I, I'm playing it safer and safer just because, you know, I value my life now. I want to live to uh, see my youngest uh, grow up. I want to live uh, to see my oldest graduate, which will be this school year. So, graduating. Time flies by so fast. Time flies so fast. You think you got all the time in the world, and next thing you know, uh, your body's aching. My lower back still aches. It's a lot better, but it's still aching. Especially when I uh, do a lot of yard work, and I use the weed eater, and yeah, it, it just puts a lot of pressure on my lower back for some reason. Let's see, which way do I want to go? It's, uh, oh, a lot of, a lot of cars. A lot of cars coming. time for the red light. Big old pothole in the road. So made it time for the red light so I could get on the road, feel a little bit more safer. So my yeah, my lower back is still giving me issues but it's a lot better. It, it feels like it's healing up, but I'm still not a hundred percent. I'm probably like 90%. But I'm telling you, if I got into like a fight, a physical altercation, I would lose. I would straight up lose. So, uh, yeah, not you're, you're not quite the man that you used to be as you started aging. Oh my goodness. So, ride the bike. I ride the bike. I stay active, I still cut the yard, I still do the yard work, I still lift, you know, I don't try to lay down in bed all the time. I think it's important to actually be physically active if you want to stop or prevent, you know, your muscles deteriorating, your bone de deteriorate, arthritis, whatever, you want to stay active. That, that stops or reduces the effects of uh, aging. Not that I'm old, but you know, now that I'm riding the bike, I got a lot of time to myself, I'm retired. I noticed these things before. Before I would never notice. I would never notice the leaves turning, the leaves falling, the seasons changing. I would never notice that. I would just look out the window and know that it's cold and it's fall or it's winter or spring or summer, but I would never actually see the transitions in life. I would never see the transitions in life to notice those things. A lot of cars out here. To do some fancy hand signals there for a while. I had to do a left turn, then I had to do a slow down turn or a slow down. 
had to do a slowdown. <laughs> So, summer's almost over. If you didn't get your electric bike, that sucks. Sucks balls. Uh, expect uh, Christmas orders for your electric bike that you order today. So, hopefully you'll get your bike soon enough and you'll be able to ride. Hopefully. Speed up just to turn right in front of me. Yep, that's all right. I would do the same. I'm impatient sometimes myself. All right. Whew. Made it to the clubhouse. Gonna relax a little bit. Not sure how long I'm gonna stay here. All right. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe, consider joining membership. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.